wow at the deep beginning of the video they just had the um <clears throat> dogs barking so um they just had the dogs barking at the deep beginning of the video and they were barking their asses off and barking like crazy and then as soon as i turn on the video they shut up so now it's um 12 25 p.m i might as well try to talk and say what i was going to talk about earlier <clears throat> so um normally if things are going fine and i have a hotel room then you, the most you would see if I don't go out anywhere, the most you would see is probably two or three videos if, the, if I don't get that much harassment. Probably even one video. So, since I got a lot going on, that's the more videos I got to report. So, what happened was, um, just now I had reached that thousand subscribers. A perp saw that. And pretended to fake, um, remove, you know, unsubscribe on purpose as a way to think that they can punish me that, oh, I don't, Candy doesn't deserve a thousand subscribers. So they wanted it to look like, you know, for me to have 999 subscribers, you know, to punish me from having a thousand and then on purpose, you know, and then 999 flipped over, you know, or reverse is 666, which is satanic antichrist. That's them doing that. So they think that they can punish me from being stripped away from YouTube, a thousand YouTube subscribers. And which as I, I'm starting to get a few little more supporters, but I still got a whole bunch of hate perp haters that as I said, I only got like probably like 12 to 15 actual supporters, a little bit more than, I, than you know, but I, I, I guess 985 of you bastards are perps, stalker perps that brag about watching my demise or brag about watching a so-called mental crazy train wreck. So they had that abusive, narcissistic, um, Asian perp, Lee Wang, <clears throat> that, um, so he started off saying weird perp shit on Twitter. I don't even know how he found me, but then he was following me on YouTube and he recently just started to say fucked up shit. Like, when he came on my YouTube live stream back in, like, July or August and tried to question me about, oh, why did you block me on YouTube? Why did you block me on Twitter? And um, he said, English is not my first language. Well, that don't give you a... I mean, I, I, English not being your first language, you speak too damn good, too too damn well to be... um For you to say... And you speak too fluent in English to, to or too Americanized. What you know about Go Girl? You know, you know how people back then used to say you Go Girl. So he he tried to talk about um people cheering me on and you girl you Go Girling me or whatever. Cause it's like, well, if you felt that way, why did you follow me on TikTok? If you felt uh, that I'm a mental train wreck and I'm crazy and i am got mental illness and I deserve to be criminalized and I don't deserve any help in it or whatever. Why the hell did you, why did you go and follow me on TikTok then? And I gave you two minutes. I gave you a chance at least four or five times when you said questionable shit. Don't, don't come in my life no more. You younger than me in a way in a whole different fucking country. What the fuck do you care about what I do? If you say you're Chinese living in the UK, in England, what the fuck? What, what you gonna do? Jump through your phone and try to and try to snatch food out my hand? I mean, if you got an issue, don't don't comment and don't say shit. Don't subscribe if you got a problem with me. So, 
I wasn't going to say anything on TikTok, but I wanted to show y'all, I wanted to show proof that that motherfucker ran and um stalked and followed me on TikTok too. Now, if it wasn't actually Lee Wang, because they would have online perps posing as him or or just like they have online perps posing as my family members that I know is not my family members because I know my twin sister wouldn't write such a, I mean, even though my twin sister had been perping me and bullying, y'all know about all that, but they have popes, I mean, perps that will pose as her. And I'm like, I know my twin sister doesn't write like that. So stop trying to pretend. Or if you're trying to pose as my biological mother, motherfucker, my biological mom is deceased. And you're po- using my mom's picture without my permission or any of my family members permission. And Y'all using the biological brother um, pictures and posing as him too. Or you're posing as my cousins or posing as my aunts, posing as any of my relatives. So thanks to fake ass Lee Wang, what he did, now I got wrongful wrongful strikes on, on uh, TikTok now. Like... But I'm showing and exposing that all the abuse and harassment I, that I get from the, from the perps almost pretty much every day on TikTok. I guess I gave up on reporting them because they keep on the moderators falsely say no violation when it clearly is violation. But for me to call out and expose perps on TikTok, I'm forbidden and not allowed to do that because that's abusive behavior. Y'all don't realize how fed up and fucking sick and tired I am? And that's the reason why I've been lashing out and shit like that? I'm not getting any fucking justice? So, yeah, I mean, so now it's basically I'm being kicked out of everywhere online and in person, in person as well. They bullied me off of Quora. They ran me and bullied me off of Quora. Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, making me feel unwelcome on my own blog. I can't even allow comments on my own blog because there's no way to block them. There's no way to block them from their harassing comments. So <clears throat> on my blog, I have to just stop. Um, I mean, you know, not allow anybody to comment on my blog. And that's fucking sad. And sometimes lately, now that I can do community posts, I try to post some of my blog posts on YouTube, you know, but I try to not bombard y'all. <clears throat> but I can post whenever I want to or whatever. But I guess they won't allow me to have more than 100 posts per day, you know. But um, when I was trying to transfer some of my short stories onto my blog that I had for a year. When I was trying to post my short stories onto my blog, they stopped me because, of course, I had over 100 short stories. <clears throat> and um, and so a lot of the short stories and other older blog posts from the other blog, I tried to manually copy and paste them. And so they put a stop to it because it was over 100 Um post so I had to wait till the next day and then start posting like copying and pasting and reposting some more <clears throat> so um well some a, a lady got excited for being my thousand subscriber and then afterwards that's when another perp got hateful and unsubscribed you know just trolling and um, that's like when they give me thumbs up and then hours or days later, they come back and um, change the thumbs up to a thumbs down. And that's that sex trafficker that poses as Darnell Williams <clears throat> that um, been stalk- making harassing comments on TikTok. And, and, and they never, only a couple of times that they said that what he did was actually violation, but everything he does is violation. And other harassers too. 
<clears throat> and, and you know, sometimes, yeah, if you say one comment that intends to hurt, yeah, that is bullying and harassment. But some people make it like as if, if it's um, because that's a perp perp thing to do. And people make it like it's not harassment because it's only one time. But why is it harassment if I say something only once? If I say hello, not knowing that you didn't want to be bothered with me and you get a certain attitude, you know, and and then they will over-exaggerate and lie to the police and say I've been harassing them constantly. This is like high school bullying all over again. You know, even junior high, because if I were to report to the teachers about the kids picking on me at school and, and the teachers, the abusive narcissistic teachers that are in on it, they will say, like, I'm going to talk about the hardcore butch man, like Mr. Dozier. How the fuck did she narcissistically become um, the the principal at um, Gretna Junior High? And, and she was, um, and Stank Horlanika from the Masonic Smelly Craft family was um, Miss Dozier's favorite. So Ms. Dozier, you know, from Gretna Junior High and a lot of the other teachers, you know, if I report them for harassment, her name was Edith Dozier. So if she still works at Gretna Junior High, I ain't got nothing to lose. Go ahead and call up um, Gretna Middle School. Call them up in Gretna, Louisiana, Gretna Middle School, and tell Ms., show Ms. Dozier this fucking video if she's still the principal, if she still worked there. I don't even care because um, in 2006, when I brought the foster boy Richard to whatever program, some kind of assembly or something, and Miss Dozier, you know, was abusive to me, towards me. And she was already the fucking principal there and hadn't seen me in years. The foster mom had, she was the one who left me to take the foster you know, transport the foster boy, Richard, to that whatever awards event or something like that at the school. So anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm going to call out some of my high school and middle school teachers. Some of them are dead. Some of them are still alive. But, you know, the, the ones, you know, who used to condone, do they used to condone the bullying and, you know, lie and say that um that that the bullying student did nothing wrong. Or what they're doing is harmless. I mean, and, and I can't believe that even, like, if I haven't seen you since ninth grade, seen or heard from you, that was like 1997, 1998 since I've seen you. And then way, almost a decade later, you still hate my guts. I didn't fucking graduate. I'm not a kid anymore. Even Miss Sally Falcone from McDonough 26 and Gretna. She she pulled that same shit. She was an abusive bully herself, the um cafeteria monitor, Miss Sally. And um she was obese and big and try to con you know condemn me about food and stuff. And I was in the elementary school, I was on that Prozac medication. That, and but she was big and obese herself, and she was she would punish me for accepting food from other kids if they offered it to me, and I was taking the Prozac medication. But I didn't realize they would do cruel stuff like spit in their food and then give it to me, say, "Hey, Candy, you want my burrito? Oh yeah, I'll take it." But I didn't know that they spit in it until after I ate it, and then another kid would say, "Ew, he spit in it." Or, oh, Candy, hey, you, like that Keenan Henderson boy used to be like, hey, Candy, you want um you want my pizza? Oh, yeah, I'll take it. And then I eat it. And then, I mean, like he, I mean, he'll be like, hey, Candy, you want my pizza? I'll be like, yeah, I'll take it. And then he'll shake his head and say, greedy. And then I eat it. And then other kids be like, ew, he, they wait till after I'm done the last bite and said, ew, he's spitting it. 
<clears throat> but I never had a problem with food or anything until Prozac. And even some of my teenage years, like my senior year in high school, I was pretty skinny until they put me on certain medications, made me big and overweight, you know. <clears throat> but even I think in ninth grade, I was kind of on that skinny side also. And I started to gain a little bit of weight in, um, I think, in fifth and sixth grade. But then by seventh grade, I was pretty skinny. And in a lot of my years in high school, especially, I was like nearly anorexic my sophomore. I was 15 years old. I was nearly anorexic looking my sophomore year in high school. But my senior year, I was started off skinny and then started to get bigger. <clears throat> but then it wasn't until college that I was overweight <clears throat> and um and got like it's like I was like they said that when you go to college they had the that people joke about the freshman fifteen. Well, my first year in college I gained not fifteen, but no, my first semester I gained thirty pounds because they had me on psychiatric medications that made me eat a whole lot like trazodone. <clears throat> and it used to make me sleep 15 hours a day and overeat. But y'all make it like as if that's what narcissistic abusers do. Say you're crazy and need psychiatric medication. And then um, they'll say you're crazy and need medication. <clears throat> and then force you to take medication. And the side effects of the medication make you more depressed and suicidal and make you overeat. So, um, <clears throat> and, and, and I've, ever since, you know, the Prozac days in elementary school, I have been hypersensitive and that's been a trigger word for narcissistic abusers to condemn me and call me greedy. And if if you non narcissists, they don't they wouldn't call me greedy. Only people who call me greedy is people with narcissist abusive narcissistic personalities, and think they want to try to police and control what I eat. But they can say that I stress them out and cause them to smoke cigarettes. But I can't say that you stress me out and make me depressed. And make me make me stuff my face and eat. And guess what? I don't even really overeat no more, really. I really don't. But I just eat standard meals lately. But yesterday, I caught myself, you know, with, I think I overdid it with breakfast and lunch. But for dinner, I had a super light dinner and I didn't get to finish it all because the place was about to close. And then, so I came here and I, I had a, like a bag of chips or whatever. But um, but for breakfast, I didn't, I didn't overeat today, you know. But <clears throat> I was talking about my depression in the video that I did yesterday afternoon. And I didn't even realize YouTube been hiding some of my comments. So Lee Wang, you know, try to insinuate that people are in, enabling my quote unquote crazy behavior because you're mad because I blocked you. So you're going to do like Kimberly Harper and start following and harass me everywhere. How come my twin sister is okay for her to overeat and be obese? But they applaud her cooking videos of her eating and stuff. And she smacks like an animal, like an uncivilized cow. The whole family do skinny or fat. They all smack their food like ignorant pigs. Like they got no freaking manners, respect or home training or nothing. Just like, I mean, they, they smack their food like uncivilized animals. And I'm the crazy one. At least I know how to eat well-mannered. At least I know how to eat what manners. But, you, you know, my twin sister was edging, egging it on by um, 
encouraging her cult followers to harass me and call me greedy with food when she, when she was sitting there over 330 pounds bigger than me. But they want to insult me about my weight all day when some of her cult followers, some of the perps, they're fatter than me and calling me fat and greedy. Hypocritically calling me fat and greedy. Like J. Demon Rotten shit harasses me about food and being greedy every chance she get. But she got a license to be fat and her son is fat. Yeah, I fucking said it too. And she's another one been trying to pry into stalking me, trying to stalk and follow me on TikTok. For over two years, been stalking and following, harassing me everywhere on social media. When she got a, when she, when I get a new account somewhere, she'd be the first to go fo- uh, fraudulently and illegally go and follow. If you don't like somebody, stay away. So yeah, that's what Lee Wang said about my video yesterday. Literally the first 15 seconds in and she's already talking about food. Well, bitch, stay the fuck away. I mean, Lee Wayne looks like he about fucking 18 years old. I'm old enough to be your mother if you really are 18, 19, 20. Like, as I say, you way in fucking UK or whatever, and you Chinese, but you sitting there, you know, I mean, you, if, if you have an issue with me being mentally ill, why did you go run to stalk and follow me on TikTok? And my twin sister had been bullying, harassing, and calling me greedy for years. When What, what you going to do now? She gained so much weight and, and ended up with way more health problems than me. I don't even really have that many health problems. Aside from this targeting... You know, but that's the direct energy weapons att- attacks because it happens to skinny target individuals as well. And then I heard that they can mind control you to be extra hungry or mind control you to have your appetite suppressed also. Like the targeted individuals will say that the gang stalkers forced them to eat or something like that. You know, I've seen other targets say that whether real or fake, you know. <clears throat> but you you stress me out and make me stuff my face and overeat. I mean, I, I mean, and then they say that when you're sleep deprived, you crave more food too. You hear this? This is what, what woke me up this morning. Right by my door. They're trying to manipulate me to go outside. And I got too many abusive, narcissistic perps ganging up on me to the point it is unbearable. But I'm surprised there are a few people who still do care and even they get compromised. So what happened was, I wanted to say, for those of you who helped me out, Thank y'all. Thanks so much for helping me out yesterday. You know, so I hope y'all see this video. You know, and and then look, the perp got a park directly outside my door. You you hear it, right? Just right right outside my door. You have your own door and your own parking space. Why you got to park directly in front of me? You weren't parked there yesterday. I mean, last night when I came here. Now I'm here ghetto loud talking right outside my door. <clears throat> so I didn't know where the hell I was going to be. I don't think I would believe I'm going to get help till I see it, until I get it, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> so 